500 traded offer lifted 75 spin welcome to price squawk in the previous tutorial buy, buy. we introduced two different volume modes for monitoring the tape buy. and trading activity in your markets time and sales mode was used to listen to individual buy and sell trades with loudness sell. representing the size of trades and auto mode was used to listen to trades with the volume flow controlling the loudness of trade sounds we also showed how either of these volume modes can be configured to manipulate trade sounds and raise volume and size alerts. So, Each volume mode offers a different perspective of the tape, and one or the other may be a better fit Bye. for your particular trading style. Volume alerts can be enabled for any volume mode to provide important so. feedback of the state of different volume conditions in your market, such as volume profile thickness, large volume occurring in a short time, so. So. or volume at price. In this tutorial, we will look at these other volume modes available that can be used to filter our time and sales trade sounds and for raising volume alerts. You can view all available volume modes from the drop down menu under Volume Control on the Configuration tab. Sell. Volume at Price keeps track of how much volume is accumulated at the current price trading, similar to what can be observed in some trading DOMs. When you enable trade sounds for volume at price, then trade sounds will get louder as more volume is absorbed at the current price, whether by buyers or sellers. As you did with the Sell. time and sales alerts, buy. you need to give buy. Pricework some useful values for your particular markets for the minimum, middle and maximum volume at price thresholds. For the E-mini, we will Sell. use 500, 1000 and 5000 contracts in this example, though you can enter any value Sell. based on your experience and the trading session in effect. If unsure of some useful values, then simply refer to the DOM or use the Price Quark Volume Profile to observe how much volume is being absorbed at prices. With just volume at price controlling our trade sounds, you will hear buy and sell trade sounds ramp up in loudness as more volume is absorbed sell. at the current price. You can hear whether mainly buyers or sellers are aggressively trading sell. into the price, or if it is a fair battle between buyers and sellers. An example that plays out often on ranging days is as the market approaches the top of the profile range, buyers can be heard via louder buy trade sounds at the same pitch trying to lift the market. If a hidden seller is leaning on prices at the top of the profile, you can hear the absorption take place by these louder and louder buy. buyers unable to lift the offer. If the level breaks, then a new price trades and volume at price starts accumulating again with softer Sell. trade sounds. Or you may hear a sweep of loud trade sounds as the sellers bail out of the markets and stops are hit. If this game is played out over a few prices, then you know that large traders are absorbing volume across a range of prices. If the sellers win out, then you will start to hear the sellers hit back into the bids with some more force via louder sell trade sounds, and so on. Even in markets like the E-mini, when most of the time buyers and sellers are actively placing market orders, you can hear with volume at price mode if buyers or sellers are having a harder time taking Sell. out prices at the culmination of moves, and when traders begin supporting the market at prices. Sell. If you want to know if an unusually large Sell. amount of volume has been absorbed at prices, then you can enable volume at price alerts. We'll choose a specific alert to identify these prices by opening up the user options from the MISC menu and selecting a different volume alert mode from Sell. the volume at price settings. One-off volume alerts will play just the one sound or announcement for each volume alert level. The loudness of the alert can be set in user options here or from the volume sliders in the configuration tab. Make sure one-off is set for volume alert mode, so. then enter volume for the volume alert sound. The sound you enter here will need to match up with any of the sound effects in the alert sound effect drop-down menu, emitting any asterisk preceding the sound effects. So. These asterisks tell you that the sound effect will not change with price, that is, it will Bye. always play at the same pitch. To hear the effect volume Bye. of price has on trade sounds, you will need to disable other volume modes also contributing to trade sounds. By default, this will mean disabling auto mode trade sounds. For continuity from tutorial 1, we will enable volume alerts for auto mode and time and sales mode while we listen to the tape using volume at price. Smart volume mode enhances volume at price so that volume does not reset each time a trade occurs at a new price, but instead continues accumulating until the inside market has completely shifted. For example, 1000 contracts may be absorbed at the offer price before it is lifted, which then becomes the new bid price. Volume will start accumulating from scratch at the new offer price, but will continue accumulating at the old offer price, which went bid. 
reminding us that 1,000 contracts already traded at this price and volume will continue accumulating if support for that price is significant. Smart volume is a useful reminder of how much work it took to shift the market up or down and the strength of the market makers at the bid and offer. Please refer to the Price Squawk user manual for more information on Smart Mode and how it can provide further insight to trading activity to enhance your market perspective. Smart Mode can be an effective replacement of volume at price if traders are constantly trading into both the bid and offer or as a good addition to volume at price. If, for example, you have 500, 1000 and 5000 contracts configured for volume at price thresholds, you can enable Smart Mode for 5000 and more contracts to provide a short term Trading. map Middle of the volume. volume being absorbed at prices. So. We will enable Smart Mode in this example to alert so. us if significant volume traded at prices before the market so. moved on by setting minimum to 5,000, middle to 7,000 and maximum to 10,000 contracts and use a one-off alert to announce at price as our reminder. So as we listen in and hear volume at price change as new prices are tested through our trade sounds, Smart Mode Alerts will tell us if significant volume is actually being absorbed at these prices. The Volume Profile Modes, Volume Profile Relative and Volume Profile Fixed, let us listen to our buy and sell trade sounds in the context of the Volume Profile Thickness and set specific Volume Profile Alerts. For Volume Profile Fixed Mode, sell. we need to manually enter minimum, middle and maximum profile sell. thickness values, if using them to control trade sounds or for alerts. PriceWalk references its internal volume profile which you can view on the ladder tab. The price walk profile only sell. accumulates when price walk is open and it is also resettable. So you can listen to the profile build for a period of time or for a particular market swing and profile. then reset it by right clicking on the ladder or using a hotkey. A useful trick is that you may want to listen to the tapes buy and sell sounds or set an alert when the market is breaking into new territory outside of an established sell. profile range. To do this, you can invert your minimum, middle and maximum sound levels Sell. so that minimum profile Sell. thickness is louder than middle profile thickness and middle profile thickness louder than the maximum profile thickness and set some specific values to clarify a thin versus thick profile. This way, trade sounds will be at their loudest when the market is establishing a new profile Sell. range or in a price discovery phase and trade sounds will in turn get quieter as the profile gets thicker and range bound. Volume Profile Relative uses the Maximum Volume Profile Thickness or Volume Point of Control according to Price Squawk's internal volume profile and calculates the minimum, middle and maximum values relative to the maximum profile thickness. You can set the calculation variables in the user options. For example, we may want trade sounds to be at their maximum where the volume profile is thinnest and the market is probably moving and soft or muted in the thickest parts of the volume profile where some markets range in a few ticks for hours. To achieve this, leave the maximum multiplier at 1, set the middle multiplier to 0.2 and leave the minimum multiplier at 0. Now set the sound levels to be the loudest at the minimum and softest or muted at the maximum. You can listen to trade sounds in this current so. state to get a feel for how the tape sounds in thick versus thin sections of the volume profile. We are going to enable a generic profile alert to tell us that the market is probably breaking out through a step in the profile signified by the volume profile crossing below the middle volume threshold we just set. And we'll also enable an alert that a new volume point of control has been set when the volume profile at price crosses above the maximum volume threshold. Select profile for your alert sound and then in user options set volume mode for relative volume to one off. We have already set the multipliers used to calculate relative volume profile levels. Enable middle volume decreasing alert in our user options for relative volume profile and maximum volume increasing alert to on. Profile. Now close your user options. Since we want both of these alerts to be loud, we will increase all our volume control sound levels to maximum. We now have an alert to draw our attention to the profile because the market is trading in an interesting volume profile area. You could Sell. alternatively use full speech volume Sell. alerts to read out the profile thickness or one of the many sound effects available. The final volume mode to cover is volume in time. This mode lets us set volume thresholds for our trade sounds and alerting that correspond to the amount of volume accumulated in a certain time window. The time window can be set on the configuration tab to anything from 1 second to 300 seconds or 5 minutes. 
use your market experience to enter meaningful volume and time parameters. Or alternatively, we have an entire indicator dedicated to calculating ideal volume and time values for increased volume detection. And this is available on our website blog. The indicator analyzes volume bars in historical data and calculates volume and time values useful for identifying high volume conditions in your market for a particular trading session. Check out the price quark blog to get the indicator and instructions on using it. We will utilize volume and time in our next tutorial in which we will look at using multiple volume modes for controlling our trade sounds to provide a unique and powerful market perspective. In this tutorial, we have looked at the various volume modes PriceQuark makes available for controlling trade sounds and raising volume alerts. Try listening to the tape using modes that may be relative to your trading and setting specific volume alerts for your market that could come in useful. For example, you may want to pay attention to the tape in certain volume profile conditions. Or listen to buyers versus sellers after 1,000 contracts have traded at a price and set an alert when more than 5,000 contracts have traded in a short time period. You are also probably starting to see how price court can be used to fit into many different discretionary trading plans, given the various volume conditions that price court can detect, volume being key to most serious day traders. But rather than just raising volume alerts, price court is most powerful when incorporating the buy and sell trade sounds. By listening to price court trade sounds in any of the above mentioned volume modes, you're getting a front seat in your own virtual trading pit, directly observing the emotion of buyers and sellers through price court sounds. Middle volume. In the next tutorial, we are going to look at combining these various volume modes and adding some squawk commentary into your price quark audio feed.